Uh, it's time for another math. Easy solution to discuss another uh, inverse hyperbolic trig functions video and show how you could write them as logarithms. And in this video, I'm going to deal with inverse hyperbolic tan of x right here and show that it equals to that it can equal to 1 divided by 2 uh, ln of 1 plus x all divided by 1 divided by x. And this is useful for finding derivatives and later on. And uh, basically, and, show, and also for the, the, the domain is uh, going to be between negative 1 and 1 for x right here. And basically, I just want to make a quick note. Uh, I did a bunch of other videos on hyperbolic functions, inverse functions, etc. And you can see all those in the video links below for further information on the stuff that I go over right now. So now the, the first thing I want to go over first is the graph of how this uh, looks like, just so we can get this idea of the domain. Well, well uh, so basically this function right here, this is just, um, that is just tan of x right here, a hyperbolic tan of x, which is equals to uh, e to the x minus e to the negative x, which is, uh, and then divided by e to the x plus e to the negative x. So that's just by using the definition that it's equal to um, hyperbolic uh, sine of x divided by hyperbolic cosine of x. So and this one is the blue right here. So as you can see, it goes like this, uh, and it's between basically this one and one right here. And then we I also have graph y equals x. And now this is the inverse function right here, the ln one right here. I graphed it as ln instead of I did not write inverse tan of uh, hyperbolic tan of x in Google graphing calculator. But anyway, so that's this one right here. And as you can see that I showed in my earlier video as I showed it, any function any inverse function, what it means is you reflect it off the y equals x line right here. So if this is going like this, and where this is the 1, this is at y equals to 1, and this is, uh, this is going to be equal to y equals to negative 1, then, then once you flip it, as you can see it's a perfect reflection, now we're going to be dealing in, instead with x equals to 1 right here, and this part x is equal to negative 1 right here. And these are asymptote lines, so they never touch. So it's getting closer and closer to 1, but never touches. Even this one is getting closer and closer to 1. So our domain we're going to be looking is between these two right here. And this is x is less than uh, 1 and greater than negative 1. And it can't equal it because it's asymptote line. It keeps going closer to it, but never actually reaches it. So we once we have this domain, now we could help solve the uh, you know, convert it to a, a logarithm. So we know that y, well, if we just let y equals to inverse hyperbolic tan of x. So this is the same thing as writing it as uh, x is equal to x equals to uh, hyperbolic tan of y right here. So that's all what inverse functions are. It just means you switch the x and y's. Now we would have to solve for our y function right here. And now this before we solve for it, let's just write this as uh, the other form. So x is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative, I mean e to the y, we're dealing with y's right now, my uh, mistake right there. This is all divided by e to the y plus e to the negative y right here. So that's the definition of hyperbolic tan of x, but in th this case we're dealing with y. So now we have this, we could uh, multiply this uh, with x right here. So uh, I'll actually just write it down right here. So multiply the x inside, so we'll have now e to the y, let's put the x right here. This is a y, not an x. And then plus x e to the negative y. And now this equals 2 e to the y minus e to the negative y right here. So now I just want to add up like terms. So I'm going to actually uh, move this stuff to the right. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move everything to the right uh, in this case. Yeah, so basically we're, sub we're subtracting the, the left side to the right side. So we'll have e to the y or 0 is equal to e to the y minus x e to the y and now this is going to be minus e to the negative y minus x e to the negative y. Now we could uh, factor out the like terms so this will be e to the y take it out so 1 minus x that's these are like terms and now this case here we'll take the whole negative out so now we'll be left with e I mean negative um, e to the negative y, take that all out. Now we're going to be left with 1 plus x. 
So we just took that out. We're left with this. So now what we could do is actually a pretty clever thing my calculus book does is multiply both sides by e to the y. And e to the y, the, the left side, is not going to change anything. So it's just going to be 0 still. So now we have e to the y there. So 0 is equal to, and multiply this inside, we're going to be dealing with e to the 2y minus uh, 1 minus x. And now this is going to be, well, e to the negative y times e to the y. This is going to be e to the y negative y plus y of 1 plus x. So that's what it equals to. But basically, this is from the fact that e to the negative y times e to the y using our power function properties. This equals to e to the negative y plus y. And this equals to e to the 0. This is cancel off. And e to the 0 is equal to uh, 0. I mean, equals to 1. Yeah, so it equals to 1 right here. So now we're just left with 0 is equal to e to the 2y, 1 minus x minus, well, 1 plus x right here. And that's just because uh, that's a 0. I mean, that's equals to 1. So now we have this. We could move this over and just solve for e to the 2y. So we'll be left with, uh, yeah, we'll be left with right here. Uh, 1 plus x, move this to the other side, equals to e to the 2y uh, times 1 minus x. Now divide the 1 minus x out, we'll be left with e to the 2y is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Put a, let's put this on the right side. So now what we could do is lawn both sides right here. If we lawn both sides, now using our log or lawn rules, it's just natural log, uh, we could put this 2y down here, right? So we'll have 2y ln e. Now this ln e is equal to 1 using our log properties. And now this just equals to 2y equals to ln 1 plus x minus, I mean divided by 1 minus x. So now what we could do is divide the 2 out and we get our answer, which is basically writing the, so y, we know y is equal to uh, inverse hyperbolic tan of x, this equals 2 now, we divide the 2 out, 1 divided by 2, ln 1 plus x, 1 minus uh, x right here, divided by 1 minus x, and we know that domain is x is less than 1, greater than or equal to negative 1. And th this is our uh, proof right here. And we just got what we uh, wanted to prove. Anyway, so that's all for today. Hope you learned from this video. And if you want to download the notes, you could all download them in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching. Yes, that's the exact answer we got. So thanks for watching. And, um, and yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.